Hi guys, it's Vicky. I'm back with another update video. Um, a little bit of a different setup today. I am in a different location in the house. So there was some light, bright light shining and if the coloring and uh, picture is all out of whack, sorry about that. Um, so I have a list here of things to talk about to kind of help my videos flow a little bit better. Um, so how's everyone been doing? Have you gotten a lot of stitchy time in? I've actually had a really good February. I have got a lot done and I'm really excited to share it all with you today. Um, I usually record on my computer that has crapped out. Um, I have an appointment to go get it looked at. So right now I'm recording on my cell phone. So I'm not sure how this is going to turn out, but we will see. I'm also in my lounge clothes, uh, no makeup, no nothing. So sorry if uh, I'm looking a little bit grubby today. It's just kind of one of those days where I didn't want to get dressed. So hopefully you guys are okay with that. So first thing I wanted to talk to you guys about was I started a rotation. Now I know in my first video I said I don't really like working um, rotations. I sort of like to work on one project at a time. I realized this month or last month while I was going through my stuff that I'm never going to get done what I want done if I'm only stitching one project at a time. So my goal for February was to make a rotation, set it out, I'll kind of have a lax one so that if I needed to change anything around I could and that is what I did. Um, I definitely think it has helped. I ended up with a new start which turned into a finish and then another new start so so far touch wood this has been working so we'll see if I can keep it up so let's go into whips and then um, we have some a finish a new start and some haul and then just sort of plans for the month of March. So the first, for the first week of February, I worked on The Spirit of Christmas by Lavender and Lace. And when I first showed you my progress, I had a little bit of the ribbon and a little bit of the hat. And I have managed to complete most or actually all of the hat and now I'm starting down on his face down in here and that beard so I worked on that I really love that hat and all the detail and this is stitched on 32 count sparkling promise by silk weaver I love this fabric. Like if I could get another one of these, I would. It's beautiful. Um, I'm loving it. Although I'm kind of worried because I measured it out when I cut my fabric and everything was okay. But now looking at it, like I started so far down here that I'm worried I'm not going to have enough room. But I counted and I should so I guess the only way to find out is to keep working on this so this one is coming up um, next week in my new rotation that I'm trying out we shall see how that goes and I'm excited to hopefully get a face and maybe the other part of that ribbon so the next thing so the next, the second week in February in my rotation, I had a new start 
wrote down to do. And the new start was going to be the January Cottage that I had kitted up and showed you in my last video by Country Cottage Needleworks. Well, I was looking through my stash, organizing stash, and I found a pattern and I'm like, you know what, I have the floss, I have the fabric, I'm just going to do it. So my new start was I Cannot Count My Day Complete by Lizzie Kate. And I worked on that for five days. And it turned into a finish. So yay! This is my second finish of 2017. This is stitched on 32 count. It was a piece I got from Stash Unload. Um, it's an opalescent. Um, and it was that sort of sea foam greeny blue. And I really, I don't know if you're, it's picking up on here, but really liked this one. It was a fun quick stitch. And the only complaint is... I didn't realize until I started stitching on this that this is, I want to say like a Monaco. Like I feel, it feels just like the Charles Craft Monaco that you get um, like rolled up in the plastic little tubes. And I do not like that fabric at all. Like, I had a project and I had to put it in the never going to finish it pile because I just do not like the fabric. So working on this, like, as much as I love the actual finished product, I did not like stitching on the fabric. So I ended up having, like, a lot, like, I cut this piece from the piece that I had. I believe it was a fat eighth and I still have a lot left of it and I probably won't use it maybe for ornaments we'll see but um that was my only complaint I loved working on this the only changes I made were I didn't really care for the chickens at the bottom here so it the pattern comes with like a free chart and I just used these little flower motifs that came with that free chart and put them there so if this is showing up backwards, I'm so sorry. I think it's because of the um, the iPhone and how it flips everything. But there we go. So second finish of 2017. Absolutely so proud of that. So hopefully I can get a couple more finishes in. We'll see. Uh, last year I didn't get too many. So this year... I'd like to get a decent amount. So I worked on that and completed that. So then next I worked on um, Gingerbread Lane by Country, Country Cottage Needleworks. And last time you saw this, I had only done this white, one or two white lines down here and some of this brown. Well, I managed to complete the train, the train engine part and a little bit of the train car. I stuck my button on there and some of the snowflakes. I'm losing my mouth today. I don't know why I can't talk properly today. Sorry, guys. And this is stitched on the other part of that 32 count um, Sparkling Promise by Silk Weaver. And I just have a little Harry Potter needle minder, needle minder from Cassie's Needle Minders. So I love this. This is coming along really nice. I think I'm going to finish it into like a flat fold and display it for Christmas like that. So that's one I worked on as well. I'm hoping next month this will be a finish because I don't have too much more to do. Just this bottom piece, the last train car, some snowflakes, and then the border. So hopefully 
I can get that done too. And then I worked a little bit on cat lessons for people. I know in my first couple of videos I had shown that and then I kind of stopped working on it. I worked on that a little bit too. I will try and see if I can grab it here. I worked on that a little bit too. Not too much. I don't know what it is with this project. I just work on it and then within a couple of hours I'm done working on it. So I think this is just kind of going to be one of those projects. It's like a filler project. Like if I have nothing to do or I don't want to stitch on what I'm working on, I'll try and get a couple of letters done and then um, not really force myself to work on it because I don't want to abandon it. But obviously I do want to finish it sometime soon. So I managed to finish off the word lessons and I did the play and the W and I did some of this here in the word appreciate. I think I did the R and then the rest over there. I'm so sorry this is showing backwards. I'm not liking recording on my phone at all so I probably won't be doing this again um hopefully that doesn't bug you guys sorry um my battery I prolonged the service charge or the battery servicing that it kept prompting me to do and then um this past weekend it just died and wouldn't charge which sucked because I had assignments due and I couldn't do them so that in itself kind of was annoying and now I wanted to do my video but for March comes and goes I kind of want to keep on track with that and then it died so sorry um it won't be like this next month here's hoping all right so I have a new start being as how I finished my original new start. <laughs> so, um, a little bit of backstory. So, on one of the Nora Corbett Facebook groups, there's this little page or like a file where you can put on there what you want to, um, like your wish list, I guess you could say. So, I put my wish list on there months and months ago, and then I got a notification from this lovely lady named Jennifer who wanted to send me the pattern, plus she had a couple others in that series and offered to send me those as well. So, thank you, Jennifer. I uh, like I can't thank you enough. That was so kind of you. Um, to do that and so that was my, one of my new starts so I will show you that this is Midsummer Night's Fairy by Mirabilia and she is stitched on 32 count valerian steel by hand dyed fabrics by Stephanie this was one of the fabrics I got as part of my haul in February. Um, I was really undecided what I wanted to stitch her on. Um, I looked on the viewer and nothing was popping out to me like wow that's what I want to do it on and I saw this piece of fabric on stash and load and I thought I would give it a try. It looked really dark on the viewer. But I'm glad I got it because it's absolutely beautiful. It complements her perfectly. It's not too dark. And I just find those blues and purples absolutely pop. So I managed to get her face done. Um, her arms all back stitched. I've started a little bit of the beading here over her arms. I uh, just started working on some of the greenery. And now working on her dress. Keep in mind this is 
flipped so she is actually looking that way and closer to this side um but I'm just loving her and I did start some of the Krennic here um an absolute pain to work with oh I do not recommend oh like if there was something easier like I would absolutely use it but I, they, it just was so rough and scratchy and was just fraying so bad, but I know that the end results will be worth it. And if I, one, two, three, four, five, six. This is about six days worth of progress. So I think a fair amount done on her. I get to work on her for... Um, one, two, three, four, five. Uh, five more days in my rotation this month um, but I'm so addicted to working on her I probably won't want to stop so there we go so that was all my whips my finish and my new start for February so I'm gonna get into some haul here so I got some needle minders in the mail. Um, I am a huge Gone with the Wind fan. I love, favorite movie, favorite book. Absolutely love it. As you can see, my friend painted me a Gone with the Wind painting a couple of years ago. And I have that hanging. Um, absolutely love it. So I got some of those. These are from True North Needle Minders, fantastic service, and based in Canada, so can't go wrong there. So I don't know, the color's not really showing, but it's just a lovely daisy bottle cap, orange bottle cap to complement the orange background. Love it. A black one. Another black one. And a green one, and a cat, a little white blinged out cat because, come on, cats are life, people. I freaking love cats. Like, I would have so many, but my family won't let me. So that was that. And then, as I was talking about, I got a lovely rack from Jennifer. So she sent me Midsummer Night's Fairy by Mirabilia. She sent me Titania by Mirabilia. And she sent me Adia the Garden Fairy by Mirabilia. And then I just want, I think, Lily of the Woods, and I think I'd have them all. So that was that. I also went to my local craft store. I wouldn't call it an LNS, but they do sell some cross-stitch cross things, mostly just floss, um, hoops, and uh, they just moved to a new location. So I went in to go check them out, support them. Um, pick up some things I needed and I noticed she had some lavender and lace patterns um, for purchase which was kind of nice um, that she had those there so I was browsing through and I came across Celtic Christmas and I've been eyeing this one up for a while ever since um, I saw Arizona Needleworker on YouTube's finish of her absolutely love it so I'm hoping to find some of more of that sparkling promise by silk weaver to stitch her on so, to kind of complement um, the lavender and lace the spirit of Christmas Pro um, probably won't get to her this year just because I already have two kind of biggish projects but we'll see I'm making pretty good progress on um, the Midnight Fairy, so who knows, right? 
I also ordered from 123 Stitch. I needed the beads and the Krennic for my fairy too. And I also ordered some petite treasure braid for the Spirit of Christmas for his tassel and the candles as well. So I'm excited to try this out. Lots of people on Stitch Mania uh, recommended Petite Treasure Braid, so I'm going to check it out. Apparently, it's so much easier to work with than Krennic, so we shall see. Love the recommendations, by the way. It's always nice to try new things. So. I also got a piece of fabric from Stash and Load. Um, I've been eyeing this one up for a while and I thought the price was really great so I went ahead and got it. It is Khaleesi by Under the Sea Fabrics. This is Joblin 32 count and I'm not sure what I want to stitch on this. I was thinking Halloween. Um, I'm, I've been eyeing up some of the Prairie Schooler charts. Um, a couple of other charts on 123 Stitch as well, and I just thought these colors, the pink and the orange, would really pop. Um, but I don't really decorate for Halloween, so I'm not sure. I was also thinking the Petal Fairy by Mirabilia would look really nice on here, even Gypsy Queen. But to be honest, like I'm not in a rush to start those, but I really want to use this fabric. So just for some quick finishes, I might do the Prairie Schoolers, but we'll see. Gorgeous fabric, though, um, and from the same person, that's where I got the Valerian steel as well. I also joined a Fabric of the Month club um, under Hand Dyed Fabrics by Stephanie and Under the Sea Fabrics, so I haven't received my fabric yet. I'm hoping... In the next couple of couple of weeks, they did say five weeks. It's been, I would say, four. So hopefully, next video I should have those. Um, I'm not. I was kind of a little unsure about fabric of the month. I figured, you know, if I want fabric, I can just buy it. But I really want to build my fabric stash. It's nice to just kind of have it on hand, and then if I don't have the floss, it's easy to just go out and buy that versus, <clears throat> excuse me, versus having to wait for fabric that you've ordered. So, we'll see how that goes. Um, I also made one of these project bags. I followed Vaughn of the Twisted Stitchers tutorial. Um, and then inside is just like a nice polka dotted. And then I just have to sew on the Velcro, but I didn't have that on hand. So that will be for another time. My sewing skills definitely need some practice, but this was super easy, super fun to make. Um, Vana's tutorials are fantastic. So right now I've just been keeping in here Spirit of Christmas and Gingerbread Cottage or Gingerbread Lane, sorry. So I'm hoping to make up a couple more and then organize my wits that way. So I think I've sort of talked about everything that I've wanted to talk about. Um, my plans for next month, um, continue on with the rotation, try it out. It seemed to work really well last month. I got a finish and a new start. Um, it's also really nice I found to see where your time is going, like, and how long you spend working on a project. Um, so I have, right now, Midsummer Night's Fairy, The Spirit of Christmas, and Gingerbread Village. Those are my three main whips that I will be focusing on. Um, Cat Lessons for People is kind of hit or miss. Depends on my mood for that one, to be honest. Um... And I might start, I have like a week here blank. So I could probably start a little one and try and get a finish that way too. But we'll see. It's just the beginning of the month. Um, I hope 
everyone had a good last month and are going to have a good March. Um, if anyone's celebrating St. Patrick's Day, I hope you have a great day and enjoy that. Um, again, thank you for subscribing. Thank you for your lovely comments. Um, I feel like I'm getting a little bit better in front of the camera. I uh, do still kind of stumble on what to say, so I think having like this piece of paper here to help me has definitely helped. So, until next time, my lovely fellow stitchers, I will see you then. Have a great March.